He was growing up as well as uh, sport activities, everything from soccer, baseball, and so on. So we had a lot of airborne material uh, and contamination really that was, was blowing around in the 70s and 80s as these kids were growing up. Stephen contracted appendix cancer and that was diagnosed in 2011, okay? Uh, you know, he went through a pretty serious surgery in Baltimore in July of 2011, and the amount of, of mucin and tumors removed from his abdomen equaled the size of a soccer ball. Okay. Uh, he did pretty well for a couple of years after that, uh, and then in March of 2014 is when he became very ill again, and they uh, were not able to do any additional surgeries on him because he had became systemic, which meant that all the vital organs in his body were covered by the tumors itself, and to remove any of that would cause another organ to shut down. So he would have just constant organ failure. All right. um, he died on July 20, and passed away on July 21st, of, of 2015, it was 99 days ago. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for prison. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Well, fresh off my visit to St. Louis, where I learned that the EPA was telling the residents there, you know what, don't worry about the fact that we are now finding thorium and radium and other nuclear contaminants in the groundwater. It's perfectly fine. It's going away from your town. This is the way that the EPA is, of course, treating the people there and testing us. Well, as soon as I got back, we're hearing this story, a Sacramento residents exposed to carcinogen in their drinking water. And I was not surprised to hear about this. Rob Dew is joining me now. So talk a little bit about the city of Sacramento. They were testing a new chemical at their main water treatment plant. That's and right. They've found been, that it causes cancer. They've been testing what they called aluminum chlorohydrate. And what that does is it's a chemical that goes in and binds with the bigger particles that they pump out of the river water there. There's a couple of rivers running through Sacramento. And then that falls down to the bottom of these holding tanks. And then they pump the water out of the top, treat it a little more, run it through some uh, other filtration put fluoride in it, and then they pump it to your house. Well, so this the problem is with this aluminum chlorohydrate, it doesn't do a very good job, so they have to add more chlorine than they normally do. And what happens with the chlorine? Well, it creates these things called disinfection byproducts, or DBPs. And 
actually, we played some of this video uh, yesterday with David Knight, but let's go ahead and run that first video uh, that we played yesterday or part of that, just explaining what DBPs are, how they uh, become, how they, how they are created in the water supply, and what it means to you know people out there. So let's go to that Investigation first with some scary revelations about the city of Sacramento's drinking water. For almost a year, the city added a new chemical to the drinking water. It started as a short-term test of a water treatment chemical called aluminum chlorohydrate, or ACH. The chemical was temporarily replacing another water treatment chemical called alum. Sacramento's utility director says the test was all about one thing. There was an expectation that we'd be able to save quite a bit of money. In a report the city filed with state regulators, the city admits that the ACH chemical they were testing didn't do a good enough job removing some of those impurities. To make up for the chemical's lack of effectiveness, the city had to pump in more chlorine. And when the chlorine and these organic compounds spend too much time together, the chlorine can turn into disinfection byproducts, DBPs, in your drinking water. The chemical trial went on for an entire year. And during that year, according to internal tests the city was performing, reading after reading went above what the EPA considers safe for long-term exposure to DBPs. A city chemist noticed DBP problems on the third day of testing. She wrote in an email to managers, I'm nervous about the distribution samples. A chart that went along with that email showed DBPs way above the EPA limits. Wow. So yeah. they can't even say that they were doing it with good intentions to give them nice, fresh, clean drinking water. They knew that it was a problem and just kept on. They kept doing it for a whole year. And wow. we got another clip talking about how long this was going on and what DBPs can do. But if you go to the EPA website and you type in disinfectant byproducts, it brings up some some of the ones that are created with that and the health effects. And most of these, they have in their increased risk of, uh, risk of cancer. Some infants and young children who drink water containing chlorate in excess of the MCL, that's the minimum limit that they want in there, could experience nervous system effects similar to what occur in fetuses of pregnant women who drink water contaminated with chlorate. That's one of them that do that. Uh, some people experience anemia. A lot of these, they are carcinogens. And there's a whole list of them here uh, as to what these DBPs are and what they are. Um, you know, wh what they are, uh, how they occur, and then what their health effects are. If you go to the C CDC, they talk about four major ones that are here. You can see them here. I'll just rip that off. Chloroform, uh, bromodichloromethane, dibromochloride methane, and bromoform. Wow. And so I got a text. And the reason I'm, I'm bringing this back up again, um, I got a, either a text or an email. I forget how it came to me because I get a lot of information. I just looked. It wasn't on my Twitter. It wasn't in the comments of the video that we, we did yesterday with David. But somebody said, I have a clearly filtered pitcher, which well, we sell at InfoWarsStore.com. And th they asked, does it filter out these? I couldn't find it. Well, if you go on each of the products of all the water filters that, that we sell, there's detailed filtration sheet. So there's the clearly filtered picture right there. That's what the, uh, the the person was talking about. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can actually go to the detailed list of uh, that was done with the city of Los Angeles. So you could scroll down, you could read what it filters out, um, how much of the reductions. And, you know, these pictures systems, the filters are smaller. It's sort of like a comparable to something like a Brita or something like that. And these things are not made to filter out massive amounts of of material. Mm -hmm. They do a good job of getting out chlorine and some heavy metals and stuff like that, but they're not going to get everything. Now, if you go to, let's say, let's go to ProPure. We have another from EnviroTech Laboratories. You go to the ProPure page and then scroll down, show people how they could find this on their own. You can click on those uh, test results right there. And so let's look at the first one, the first one's chloroform, and you can find that on page two. You can actually go to my overhead camera shot, guys, and you can see that here. Here's chloroform, and it pulls it out at 99.1% right there. You might need to zoom in a little bit more so people can see it at home. There we go. Chloroform right there. That's one of the uh, first of those uh, DBPs. Also next is uh, bromodichloromethane. It gets that out at 99.6%, and then bromoform at 99.6%. I could not find anything for dibromochloromethane, but I did find lots of things that sounded like that. I'm not a scientist. I'm not going to pretend to be. Yeah. I can barely the pronounce word these itself, words. We see here that it's been filtered out to about 98.6%, but like you said, right. the acronyms and stuff can get a little jumbled. Exactly. So of those three, it does filter those out. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a version of this in here 
I'm just not a scientist, so I'm not going to pretend. If I didn't find the exact spelling, I didn't go with it. Now, Alexa Pure is what we just started selling. Mm -hmm. And this is even, I didn't think it could get any better than that. But Alexa Pure Pro, pretty, I mean, you could say 99.9%. .9%, is that almost 100? You know, you can almost say 100. But look, here's chloroform. You see, there you could go to the, the, the sheet and look at the advanced filtration test. Same thing. Here we go. Chloroform right there. 99.9%. .9%. Bromodichloromethane, 99.9%. Bromoform, 99.9%. So the Alexa Pure Pro, as, yes, Alexa Pure Pro, those are even more outstanding than the Pro Pure, which both are outstanding filters. I, filters. I have Pro Pure at my house. Yeah. And it's, it's an amazing setup. It's huge. I have it with, uh, it gets like three and a half gallons that I could filter out at a time. Now, I'm always, when I think of chloroform, I always think of scary movies because I was always conscious of the fact that that's right. what they used to abduct people. They would yeah. put a little on the thing and then cover your mouth and you pass out. Yeah, just and drink it. It's okay. Yeah, just it's drink totally it. It's totally fine. And so the city of Sacramento ran these tests for a year. Let's get that uh, number two clip ready. And this tells you how long they had it, how high the concentrations were. And, you know, the fact that they really didn't do anything about it. And what yeah, are and the effects causing of can't, likely It's a likely carcinogen, can cause cancer, low birth weight, and even miscarriages. There you go. This community was basically looked at as a, a laboratory guinea pig in that they were exposed for a period of up to one year without any proper notification whatsoever. Test after test revealed numbers in excess of the EPA safe drinking water standard of 80 parts per billion. Some people were drinking water with DBP levels above 130 parts per billion. People in Sacramento were never notified about the dangers, never given that choice to opt for bottled water, even though the city had all kinds of data that showed they had a serious problem. DBPs are nothing to mess around with. In first trimester pregnancies, um, there's significant rise in um, miscarriages. And in third trimester, there's evidence of low birth weight. Why not stop it? Because these are carcinogens. And, and that's one thing. I mean, the carcinogens. But we know that, you know, for pregnant women, unborn children, this is bad stuff. Because we had the anticipation of saving money with using ACH. Yeah. So it's like always opt for bottled water. It, it's just completely. I wouldn't even do me. bottled water. There's so I mean, much yeah, crap in there. True. The plastics leaching. I would just filter your water, get a pro pure system or an Alexa pro pure system, Alexa pure pro system, or uh, get one of the pitchers. At least do something. You right. got to start somewhere. And the more you filter your water, the better it'll taste and the more nutritious, you know, it will be for you in the long yeah, run. Yeah, just incredible. And it, I really, you know, appreciate that you pulled out those test results because it really puts it in perspective when you see all of the chemicals that oh, are yeah. filtered out. Oh, yeah, that is just They're a tip of the iceberg the with those with those chemicals. There's so much other things that the filters do to pull out, especially fluoride. A lot of these pull right. out a lot of the fluoride. Until and we get let the me tell you, to take it out. Exactly. Got to do it ourselves, right. take it into our own hands. Well, Rob, do thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And thank you all for watching the show tonight. Uh, that's it for us. But if you are watching us on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And you can also become a subscriber to pr prisonplanet.tv. There you're going to find 18 years worth of uh, high def, high quality content that you're not going to find in the mainstream media. We'll see you here tomorrow. Can't be censored. Central. It cannot be censored. <laughs>
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.